a very good friend of mine, Frank Hal, K4FMH, sent me this little tiny SA along with several other items. He sent me a brand new oscilloscope and also a used HP frequency counter. And as I was talking to him, he told me the Lord put it upon his heart to send me these items. Well, let me tell you how the Lord works. And this is not a preaching video, but recently I had depleted my radio funds and taken my radio funds and given them to a needy family. I'm not tooting my own horn, friends. The Lord put it upon my heart to give that money away. And I'll be honest, I had a hard time giving it away. I said, Lord, I don't want to give my radio money away. But there was a family in need, and I've got plenty of radio equipment, and I depleted my radio funds quite a bit. And after I had given that money away, the Lord put it on Frank's heart to send me this test equipment, and I praise the Lord for that. What I'm going to do is show you how to use the tiny SA with your computer. I'm not really going to go into the inner workings of the tiny SA. I just want to show you how to make it work with your computer. As you can see, I already have the USB cable hooked up to my computer. Hopefully you can see the link in the computer screen to this website. I will include that link in the description on the video to set up the tiny sa on the computer is actually very simple you go to this tiny sa.app.exe you click on it and that will download to your download menu now what i'm going to do is go into the download menu and i'm going to make a new folder and the reason i do this is if any uh, other files are created by TinySA, it'll be in its own folder. And what I'm going to do is copy the TinySA app into the TinySA folder and open that up. Now, I do need to find out what COM port the TinySA is on. To do that, I'm going to go down to the search menu, type in device. It'll pull up the device manager. And then I'm going to go to ports. These first two COM ports are used for my radio. They're hooked up to Ham Radio Deluxe. This is the new COM port for the Tiny SA COM port 8. So I'm going to close that out. And in the Tiny SA menu, I'm simply going to double click on the app. And it opens up the Tiny SA app. I'm going to go up here and put in COM port 8. I'm going to tell it to connect. By the way, I have moved the tiny SA out of the way so that you can just see the computer screen. I'm going to tell it to scan. And as you can see, it's scanning and is working. Now I'm going to go to this icon, Capture Tiny SA Screen. The first thing I'm going to tell it to do is auto refresh. And now it's capturing exactly what's on the tiny SA and I'm going to tell it to go to actual size and when I do that I can grab this screen and make it larger and then I can use this screen just like I would the tiny SA box I can click on the right side and go to my menu I can set my frequency ranges I'll tell it to start at 7.1 megahertz and then I will tell it to stop at 7.2 megahertz. And I'm going to turn the power or the audio up on my radio. Make sure no one's talking here. I'm on 7159. Hello, is this frequency in use? Testing 1T3, is this frequency in use? And there you have it, a spectrum analyzer on your computer. Isn't that neat? I love this little tiny SA. Thank you so much, Frank, for sending this to me. If you enjoyed the video, I would ask that you subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, and God bless.